Okay, welcome to our second part of the installation. So we want to work on, and we have these files here, which is actually Nautilus, which uh, is running. We can make it bigger and smaller with control and scroll, so it's a bit better. And we have this AMD GNOME. So we've, we ran everything more or less between here and here, and somewhere in here we put we install stuff from here and stuff from there. So this is the AOR and this is the AOR distro specific DS, distro specific. So stuff that we can uh, install. In here we have a folder which is called personal. So it's no need to install it, but check what it brings to the table. I mean, um, see what this gives or edits value and decide whether you want to run things or delete lines. Again, it's a script. So double clicking it, open it, see what it brings to the table and delete lines you don't like. Now we have here this experimental little script. Uh, for the moment it's experimental, but it works fine. So I probably will move it along to all our GitHubs. What does this do? Thanks to Nick Petrov, we have now a a way to make our system work harder. Meaning, if you have eight cores, you can tell to the system, look, if you're building things or compressing things, hey, use eight cores. You have eight cores, not just one. So this is a little script that just does just that. So, meaning, um, just, well, it's, it's a bit specific, so I'll show you what's going on. Um, it's going to take a look at make package.conf, so this one, and it's going to change some lines in here. It's going to change this one, make flags, G2, and down here it's going to change the X, the compress XZ. Now we're in a virtual box, but it doesn't really matter, it doesn't care where it is, it just runs. Let's have a look. I uh, think I should go like so, MD personal. So that's zero, 0, we should start with that one. So, zero, 0, and so on, use all cores, make package configuration. We make the scripts and it says, look, you have four cores, and that's correct. I have eight cores, and four for the virtual box, and four for myself. So, okay, that's correct. Let's see what it's going to do. And it's going to change these lines here, minus T4, and up here, j5 so plus one four cores plus one that's it that has been changed that will boost your system enormously you'll gain speed with that okay that's that uh, some personal folders i like to have like uh, dot icons dot themes uh, some game things and all that so you don't see anything but a lot of like uh, directories were created if they did not exist this is showing something. If you press, if you run 120, these bookmarks will come in again. So wherever I am, I have always my exact same bookmarks, the exact same uh, sequence and, and order. So I find my stuff. Now Firefox has some issues with um, YouTube, for instance, um, input boxes and you can't read it. So what you're typing is very, very uh, light gray against white, almost unreadable. So that's why we do this little fix as a CSS fix. And that's it basically. But first run Firefox. Well, first time I ever ran that. So now I can use and read the Firefox things. Then the GIMP things, some kind of shadow scripts I use and arrow to show people hey here it is press that button it's an, a little script for to make it an uh, arrow we skip always this one in our tutorials and uh, so that's zsh if you press neo fetch then you'll see we're in shell bash if you want uh, to have zsh you run this it gives more than just zsh also theming Bash uh, ZSH completion then uh, syntax and all that. So it's a little bit more than just ZSH. I love my keyboard settings, meaning Control Alt T, not working at all. 
super return yeah no just return so with this 600 thing i have all the short cut things that i have on arch merch and i can now press ctrl t and there is my termite i can press super return and there is my termite again super shift return gives my nautilus and so on so everything is inside super f1 hopla. there we have this thing super f2 there you have a nothing <laughs> so, oh yeah there it is it takes a little bit longer atom is a little bit uh, okay let's 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 do it in the meantime so it's fixed so get rid of that then yes you want to improve and then here click this and the welcome guide is almost gone that one so next time we won't see it so everything all the keyboard shortcuts are in there this is for me if i want to make screenshots for my website it's going to be in gpg not png conky zen is our uh, conky so we can have our conkies as well and you know but it's a little bit tricky it's not going to be the same it's another desktop environment but, but we can provide some um, support so 620 and then the decom settings so general settings that you have let's say it's a kind of database where everything that you set in gnome is in there and i did some changes and i want to keep those changes so that's a very interesting thing to know that there is something hidden in your dot config uh, deconf actually i think and that's copy pasted so i don't have to set everything playing steaming and so on um and then this one we keep off because we're on a virtual box but if you want to install these uh, long-term support kernels you can do so and these are all the settings we use oh yeah there is uh, one we need to do by hand uh, okay we'll, we'll talk about this later so we did this we did this this done this we talk in a separate video done done and yeah done that's the conky zen and this one is uh, something specific so right mouse click is not present open as root is not there and sometimes we need it so double click here and then commit and this is the name is Nautilus admin and then we have when we log back on later we'll have a line here open as root so that's something extra that I did it this way because of a uh, problem in the package build I saw online I fixed myself and okay so it's now this package you should install all right um, the personal file is done we should maybe log off and see what changes we can see something probably log out because of deconf and all that eh, everything needs to be reset or loaded actually so i don't know if we see something here not right now but uh, there you go right it changes everything again which is of course very nice so next up we're going to change icons and themes and all that and make it a little bit more beautiful we also don't see the variety icon there are fixes for that all right cheers <laughs>